So one of the big selling points of the OnePlus 3 is that it can charge incredibly fast with the dash charger that is supplied with it. In fact, if you look here, let me zoom in. You can see the output is 5 volts, 4 amp, so potentially 20 watts, which is pretty impressive. So right now what I'm doing is running the battery down. You can see we're at 3% and I'm going to continue watching YouTube just to run it down. I've just random videos basically. And then once it gets to 0% and turns off, we'll plug in the charger and see how much power we can actually get in just 13 minutes. So let me come back once this has gone to zero. Okay, so the battery is completely dead. If I try and turn it on, you can see it says battery is too low. So we're just right to start testing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this dash charger into a watt meter so we can measure exactly how much power it's consuming. And that should be useful to see if it's really consuming the full 20 watts. So let me try and get this set up. And because the room that I'm in right now is around 35 degrees Celsius, I'm going to use this fan just to sit the phone on top to keep it cool while it's charging. You don't really have to do this, but this is a brand new phone for me and I want to look after it. So since the room is so hot, I want to keep it cool just by using this little fan. So let's plug it in and see how much power it consumes. So right now it's 12 minutes past 5, so we'll be able to measure 30 minutes. And if I zoom in on the watt meter again, you can see it's currently consuming around 18.2 watts. So that's pretty good, that's going to charge this phone pretty fast. Anyway, let's come back in 30 minutes and see how much charge it's managed to put into the phone. So we've got two minutes remaining and the phone is still nice and cool thanks to this basic cooling setup I've got here. You can see, let me zoom in. It's currently drawing just over 20 watts, so it's actually increased a little bit. And we just have around one or two minutes left, and then we'll check the percentage. And there you go, 42 minutes passed, so it's been 30 minutes. Let's check the percentage on the phone. 57%, that's pretty good. I think they claim up to around 60%, so 57% isn't bad, especially considering my ambient temperatures are so high here. Now, if I zoom in on the watt meter here, you can see that it's currently consuming 20 watts. And I know what you're wondering, well, what happens if you use a different charger, one that isn't this special dash charger? How much power does it consume then? Well, let's try it out. And for the test, I'm gonna use this high output charger from Anker, although I don't think it makes too much difference because, you know, it doesn't support dash. So let's see. Zoom in on the watt meter. It's currently around five watts, six watts, 9 watts, that's not too bad. If I can hit 10, I think I'd be happy. So we're still negotiating with the phone. Let's see what we get to. That's not too bad. That's pretty okay, actually. Um, let me zoom in just to make sure we can see that 11 watts if you're using a standard charger that doesn't support dash. Now that's basically 2 amp, so 5 volt, 2 amp, around 10 watts, a little bit higher even. So that's not too bad, but it's like half the speed of using the dash charger that comes with it. So if you can use this, it's going to charge much faster. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.